Hi guys, if you are at your normal place of work right now, take a moment to look around yourself. Oh wait, it's fine. Look at your desk, look at your computer, look at your colleagues, look at the walls. Soak in the whole scene and then ask yourself, is this the most productive environment for me as a web professional? The chances are it's not, at least if you're working for a traditional business. Like many people, I used to laugh at the ostentatious workplaces of organizations like Google with their over-the-top canteens, their chill-out areas, pool tables, etc. It all felt like cheap perks to lure talent in and to really project the image of, hey, aren't we cool? But while researching my book, Digital Adaptation, that, that opinion began to shift. I interviewed employees from a variety of both traditional businesses and tech startups, and I visited a range of different offices. And I began to realize that our work environment has a significant impact on how effective we are as web professionals. For a start, our working environment dictates how closely we collaborate with colleagues. Back in the day, I used to work for IBM, and my abiding memory of that time were the, the heads popping up above the cubicles like frightened meerkats emer emerging from their burrows. The work environment seemed to have more to do with battery farming than it did an effective working modern environment. It was an environment optimized for cost effectiveness, squeezing the maximum number of employees into the minimum floor space. What it didn't do was promote collaboration. If I wanted to talk to a colleague sitting next to me, I literally had a barrier in the way. To do anything even vaguely collaborative, I had to book a meeting room. The problem with meeting rooms is that they're only a temporary collaboration space. You have a meeting and then you leave, but as anyone who works in the web knows, we need spaces where we can stick up post-it notes, pin up work of our progress, and refer back to that material regularly. A temporary meeting space is not enough for that. The problem with most traditional workplaces is that they mirror the kind of factory line mentality of the industrial age. Each person has their job to do largely in isolation and then they hand off the result to the next person in the chain. It's the very definition of waterfall project management. However, the web requires close collaboration, much closer than we've seen in the past. It requires design experts, coders, and content specialists to be sitting side by side working together. It also requires the active participation of stakeholders, people who are often in another part of the building half the time. And that means our workspaces need to be flexible too. If you walk into the games company Valve, one of the first things that strikes you is the fact that all of their desks have wheels. The whole office is configured to be as flexible as possible. And this is important for a company that is constantly working as part of different teams. You, uh, employees move around the organization. In the email marketing company MailChimp, there are many desks that have intentionally been left empty so that people can sit closer to those that they're currently collaborating with. There's also movable whiteboards that you can bring in to have an impromptu meeting and then you can leave those whiteboards there if you need them. Having a flexible workspace doesn't just help collaboration, it also ensures cross-departmental cooperation. The web demands people from across the entire business to work closely together. And that is a problem because often our workplaces don't encourage that because they group together people with a similar skill set. So in other words, marketeers sit in marketing, techies sit in IT and so on. And that not only prevents co cooperation between people of different skill sets, it also fosters departmental divides. Ben Chestnut, the CEO of MailChimp, counters this problem by regularly rearranging the office layout so that different people do sit side by side, and that ensures a better understanding of what your colleagues do. You begin to appreciate them. Of course, it's not just all just about the layout, it's also about the way that our work environments are equipped as well. 
Imagine for a moment that you were fitting a new boiler at home. You considered fitting it yourself, but decided that it's probably a good idea to get a professional in to do it. Now imagine that that plumber turned up and was using the same value DIY equipment that you own. Would it worry you? Chances are it would, wouldn't it? You'd be concerned about their capability if they're using amateur equipment. We understand that craftsmen need specialist tools, don't we? A professional chef doesn't use knives he bought in Ikea and a mechanic spends a fortune on the equipment they use. Why then do most internal web teams use the same computer hardware that the accounting department is using? Why do we restrict their internet access? Why do they have to fight for permission to install software on their own machines? Having the right equipment and facilities to do your job is fundamental. We shouldn't even need to mention it in this video, but unfortunately I do. It's still a big problem area and it's so crucial for creating a digitally friendly workplace. We need to create work environments that are more focused on the, the tools that people need to do their job effectively. But we also need to focus our work environments not just on the tools that we need, but on our customers too. The larger a company gets, the fewer people actually have contact with the a customer on a regular basis. And this can be particularly true for internal web teams. As web professionals, we're constantly told that we have to think about the user, but often we're more focused on pleasing external stakeholders. And unfortunately, I think our environment doesn't help with that kind of thinking. If you walk around most traditional businesses, the walls are covered with awards, photos of assets the company owns, like a shiny office or a fancy factory, and also company executives shaking hands with important people. The walls reflect the character of the organization, and that is often inwardly focused. So it's not surprising then that a lot of our staff are inwardly focused too. Once again, email marketing company MailChimp shows us a different way. Their walls are covered with user personas, so that every time somebody looks up from their desk, they're confronted with a persona, reminding them who they should ultimately be pleasing. It's a good approach and one that I think more organizations need to adopt. We need to get away from being internally focused. The inadequacies of our workplace are really, I think, just a symptom of a bigger problem. Pre-web companies are just not generally configured to operate in the new digital economy. The world has changed and our businesses need to adapt to this new reality if we're gonna get the full potential out of digital.